Hey guys, so you know what I haven't done in so long? A slime story time. And I know if you guys love slime story times, then you'll you probably missed me. So hold on, I'm just getting all this crusty space milk off of my desk. Dried up space milk. Good. Get up, get up, get up. I'm totally not using a toothbrush. It's the easiest way, okay? It dried out. Okay. Just kidding. The reason why I was doing that was because I just got new slime and I don't want it to be ruined. So, yeah. This is Crispy Marshmallow Tree from Snoop Slimes. Not in a whole different. Ow! What? Stupid hanger. Don't mind this. Okay. Focus on the slime. Okay. Right. Get out of here. Just. Whoops. Okay. So this is a fake story. Hi. My name is my favorite name ever. I really wanted my parents to change my name to this because I hated my name before they named me Bella. I hated it. Absolutely hated it. You want to know what it was? It was literally... Wait, what's a good name? Uh, literally, it was literally Ava, and I hated Ava. Like, even my great grandmother had a better name than mine. So, one day I went down to my to tell to my parents. And I said, how come you never told me my name? And they said, because it was a secret. Nobody knows about you. But I said, so that doesn't give me, that doesn't give you the right to not tell me my own name. And then my parents said, honey, you can't know your name. You might tell somebody. And I said, what's the point? It's not like I'm allowed outside or anything. And they said, because it's dangerous to know your name. We don't know our names. I know your names. Don't tell us. We will die. And I got so scared that I accidentally told them. And then they dropped dead on the ground so i knew that i couldn't find out my name or else i would die i got so scared i called the police but then they asked me for my name i said why would you want to die and they said, because that doesn't work on the police. And I said, well, my parents didn't want me to die, so they never told me my name. 
And they said, okay, I need you to find your birth certificate and find your name. So I found it, and it said Ava. And I said, oh, um, my name is Bella. <laughs> yeah, Bella. And they said, okay, what's your last name? And it said, it didn't say a last name. So I told them that I didn't have one. And they said, well, what are your parents' last name? And I said, they didn't have one either. And then the police said, oh God, it's happening. Everything that has two words in it is disappearing. Your name is gonna disappear soon, Bella. And I said, thank goodness. And then they said, what do you mean, thank goodness? And then I said, oh, I meant to say no. <laughs> Cause I love my name. And obviously I didn't, and I lied to the police about it cause my name wasn't actually Bella at the time. It was actually Ava. But I was so glad that my name was gonna disappear. Oh, so happy. So then I said, okay, well, please rush an ambulance to my house. My house number is 27. Please come. And they were there right away. But then they saw the birth certificate. And they said, Ava. They got so mad at me. They locked me up in jail. for lying about my name. I didn't like my name, I told them, but they didn't believe me. They thought I was trying to be somebody else's identity, so they didn't believe that they were my parents. But after I told them what my parents' names were, and then they looked at their ID things, at my parents' ID things, they believed me, but they still did not let me go. I was so confused. I just told them the truth. Why didn't they let me go? And they said it was because I deserved to be locked up. They thought I killed them. I mean, technically I did, but I didn't mean to. I told them. They didn't listen. They just said, blah, blah, blah. Whatever you say, I am not going to deal with this little liar. Get her out of here. And I said, who is that? They said it was the queen. And then she came up to me next. She said, what's your name? I said, I almost said Bella. But then I said, Ava. And then the queen gasps. She went, <gasps> Get her out of this cell. She's coming with me. And I said, no, please don't kill me. She said, honey, why would I kill you? Because I heard what you And then she said, because I heard what you or, And then I said, because I heard what you said to the other girl. Because she lied to you. Oh, so you're lying to me. No, no, but I, I still heard her, you, and I don't want to die. I'm too young to die. And then she said, you're not going to die. You're just coming with me. And I said, what if I don't want to come with you? And then she said, well, too bad. You're coming with me. And that's it. I said no and ran away. They came looking for me, but the queen didn't. She kept asking people for their names. And I didn't understand why I needed to go with the queen. I just didn't. Then one day they told me why. 
I was the princess. I did not believe them. Why would an ordinary girl like me be the princess? They said it was because your your so-called parents kidnapped you. I said, no, the queen is trying to kidnap me. My parents are dead. And they said, no, they're not. You killed the kidnappers. Good job. But I didn't want them to die. They were so nice to me. But then they told me that they were going to eat me in my sleep one day. But I said, ew, you're just making that up so I'm scared and I'll come with you and the queen. And then they said, fine, you caught us with that. But they were kidnappers and they stole you. Didn't you ever meet any of your other so-called siblings? I mean, yeah, but we were all related. We had the same blood. Well, they said, no, you didn't. They kidnapped all of them from the different states, from kings and queens. So then who's my real mom and dad? The king and queen. But sadly, your dad died many years ago from a bear attack looking for you. I didn't know what to believe anymore. Should I believe my dead parents telling my brain that I shouldn't believe them? Or should I believe the royal family and go with them and have the best time of my life? And I would be able to go to school. I decided to listen to my parents slash my kidnappers or whatever. I said, no, I don't believe you. And that's that. Now leave me alone and get out of here. And then I said, and they didn't leave. So I said, scram. They left, finally. I was so mad. I didn't know what I listened to my parents. They were the royal family. I could have lived my life happily and went to school. What am I meant to do now? But apparently the guards heard me because I was talking to my cat. And they said, then come with us. You can go to school and you can have the time of your life. I said, fine. But only for this week, because I have nowhere to stay. After this week, I'm going to a foster home. They said, fine. But only if you don't like it with us. And I said, fine. Deal. Let me go to school for a week, and I'll stay. You don't, and you make me drop out of school the first day, I leave. They said, fine. So they sent me to school the next day. When I got home, they almost said for me to drop out because they missed me so much, but they didn't want me to leave again. So they didn't. They, made, they let me stay in school, and I liked it there. But the only problem was I had no friends. So, I decided to try to make some. And I didn't really lie to them. I told them that I was the princess, and nobody believed me. They said the princess died years ago. 13 years ago, actually. And that's how old I am. So, maybe I got kidnapped for 13 years ago. I didn't know. I just... Went home and asked my mom, and I said, People keep saying that I died 13 years ago. Is this true, Mother? She started crying. She said, No, of course not. Why would you be here right now? That was 13 years ago you got kidnapped. So they could be talking about that, but they knew that the princess got kidnapped, not killed. 
Hold on, guys. I'm going to go to the bathroom.
I'm so sorry. I'm so sorry. I didn't realize that I left you guys on hold. But now I know I got to go. Because I'm getting ready for my bestie. And I sleep beep beep be over. So good. Bye. Mm. Love y'all.